What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back again with another video. Today we are talking about some upcoming releases for spring of 2024, as well as some more releases of 2023 with new detailed images and information. Hit the like button, watch all the way to the end. Let's jump into these sneakers, you dig? First off, now we have new images of the Air Jordan 1 High Royal Suede, which is dropping November 4th, 2023 for a retail price of 180 bucks. Now that we see better images, I definitely like the way the shoe looks. Coming in the black, royal blue, and white color scheme, you cannot go wrong with that. Unlike other reimagines, these will come with a full suede build, replacing the traditional leather construction. Let me know what you guys think about that part of it. Black base with the royal blue swooshes, overlays, and Nike Air tongue labels. And you cannot go wrong with the white midsole and blue rubber outsole. What is your excitement level for this Royal Air Jordan 1 reimagined? Let me know that in the comments below. Next up, Jordan Brand is celebrating its 20th anniversary with Kawhi 54 and their tournament with the Air Jordan 1 Low Kawhi 54 retailing for 120 bucks. This right here is a very unique colorway. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. These come in white, black, university red, classic green, and sell as the color scheme. These do feature a leather build with suede overlays and mesh tongues and lining. These also have white side panels with mismatched red and green toe box and heels, while black covers the swooshes, overlays, tongues, laces, and inner lining. I like the colorway. I like the color combination of these. Let me know if this is the Air Jordan low that you will be adding to your collection. We also have detailed images of the Air Jordan 4 Red Cement dropping August 12th, 2023 for a retail price of 210 bucks. White, fire red, black, and neutral gray is the color scheme. Very similar to the Air Jordan 4 White Cement release, but instead of gray, you will have red replacing it. These do feature a white leather upper with red cement detailing on the wing flaps, midsole, and heels, black eyelets, inner lining, and portions of the rubber outsole with the neutral gray completes the design. This is definitely going to be a good shoe for the summertime, dropping in August of 2023. Let me know if this is something that you will be adding to your collection. Next up, we get some more detail images of the Air Jordan 5 Armour Manier in the black colorway dropping during the holiday season of 2023 for a retail price of 225 bucks. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this black colorway and what do you guys think about these images. The suede is looking really ashy. Hopefully it's just the lighting. Hopefully this has more of a dark tone to it and not as ashy. Being that it is an Armour Manier collab, I'm pretty sure this is going to be off the charts and much better in hand. These are crafted with premium materials like the previous Armour Manier Jordans collab let me know if you guys are feeling this they do come with special packaging and a full family size run pretty dope shoe right here a lot of people will be trying to get their hands on them i do like the black colorway out of the two that are dropping but that's just my opinion give me your feedback in the comments below next i wanted to briefly talk about the women's exclusive air jordan 4 frozen moments last time i talked about this shoe i got a lot of feedback on instagram as well as youtube these are pretty unique let me know your overall thoughts about these i do feel like it does look a little plastic Plastic, but I'm just going off of what it looks like by the images. I cannot wait to see what these look like in hand to give my full assessment. These feature light iron ore, sail, neutral gray, black, and metallic silver as the color scheme. This Air Jordan 4 pays homage to the frozen moments of MJ's early career, such as hitting the shot against the Cleveland Cavaliers in 1989. You gotta love the story and the history behind this shoe or the history that it represents. Other highlights feature the metallic silver hardware eyelids, wing flaps, and Jumpman logo on the heels, a cell midsole with the gray rubber outsole completing the shoe, and it does come with a special hang tag. First up, we have a women's exclusive Air Jordan 1 High. This is the dusty clay colorway, retailing for 170 bucks, also dropping during the spring of 2024. Dusty clay, cat cow wow, and burnt sunrise is the color scheme. No official images have leaked, but it's set to have a dusty clay covering most of the upper with a cacao wow on the overlays as well as swooshes. Then you'll have the burnt orange accents on the wings logo and tongue branding. You have the clay midsole with a brown rubber outsole. Let me know if you guys are liking this. Of course, a women's exclusive. Let me know, ladies watching this video, if this is something that you would add to your collection. Next up, let's get a little into the Air Jordan 1 High Yellow Orange dropping during the spring as well for a retail price of 180 bucks. Now, you know in 2021, Jordan Brand released the Jordan 1 Pollen followed by the Taxi. Now, we have the Yellow Orange, which is kind of a combination of both. Uh, yellow Orange, Black and Cell is the color scheme. No official images of what 
the shoe will look like only mock-ups as all the shoes we have in this video but as you can see this one come with a full leather build with mesh tongues and lining they're also expected to have a black base with yellow overlays with the cell midsole and yellow rubber outsole as well i'm looking forward to these i did pick up the taxis for myself did not pick up the pollens let me know if you guys are a fan of this shoe i do enjoy the black base i think that's something that a lot of people will like but give me your thoughts and opinions of course in the comments below next year we will get an air jury one high reverse panda during the spring for a retail price of 180 bucks the air jordan one high 85 black and white returned in february 2023 now we will get the reverse panda dropping later in 2024 simple black and white color scheme these like most air jordans will feature the full leather build with the mesh tongues and lining black base with the white overlays and swoosh logos black appears again on the wings logo the tongue collar and toe box white on the midsole as well as black rubber outsole i'm not a fan of these personally but maybe you might like them let me know your thoughts in the comments below next we got word about the air jordan 1 low 85 metallic blue dropping during the spring and these will retail for 170 bucks last seen in 2016 this will make its first return this is something that a lot of people have been looking forward to as well these come in summit white navy and white as the color scheme no expected release date as well as official images only mock-ups but these are set to have a full white leather upper matching the nylon tongues highlighted in the shoe is the navy blue accents on the swooshes as well as tongue branding let me know if you guys are a fan of this shoe and your thoughts about this in the comments below next up on the list is some information about the air jordan one high 85 metallic burgundy also dropping during the spring but these will retail for 200 bucks this will be the first time the metallic burgundy air jordan one sees a retro release so i know some people out there will be looking forward to this shoe similar to the og metallic red color blocking but these will come with a slightly darker red color tone which i'm looking forward to no official images but based on the mock-up by z sneakerhead and sneaker files these are set to have a white base with burgundy accents let me know if this is something that you will be looking forward to adding to your collection i assume that these will have some quality materials being that they are retailing for 200 dollars next up we have a shoe that i'm excited to see what it looks like in hand the air jordan 3 white navy dropping during the spring and these will retail for $200. These come in white, midnight navy, cement gray, and black as the color scheme. No official images just to mock up, but these mock ups are looking dope. Similar to the color blocking of the white cement release, but instead you'll have black and midnight navy, which I think will look really nice on these shoes. And of course, you have that classic elephant print, one at 10 scale off the rip. I think these are about an eight and a half, nine, but that's just my opinion. Let me know your feedback down below in the comments. Then we have for a retail price of 210 bucks the air jordan 3 craft gray mist this one is very unique too based on the mock-up images that we have iron gray mist and cream as the color scheme is expected to have the gray mist upper with the midsole and heel tab as well other details will include the ivory accents on the collar eye stays laces and tongue a cream midsole with a possible chance of an icy translucent outsole i'm looking forward to seeing what these look like in person of course jordan 3s are pretty popular as well let me know if this color scheme is something that you're looking forward to next up we have a women's exclusive dropping during the spring as well for a retail price of 200 bucks the air jordan 4 women's cell color scheme which is pretty unique these come in cell metallic gold and black as a color scheme by the mock-ups you can see that these have a cell base with metallic gold accents on the tongue branding and air units you can also expect black accents on the shoe as well as a jump man logo on the heels and not the nike air branding which we would really like to see but overall let me know what you guys think about this jordan 4. next up we got another women's exclusive that's pretty fire the air jordan 5 women's lucky green dropping during the spring as well for a retail price of 200 bucks white lucky green black and ice blue is the color scheme of course that ice blue is because of that translucent outsole and lace lock these right here will have a full white leather upper and lucky green accents on the tongue branding lace lock inner lining and the portions of the midsole i'm really looking forward to seeing what these look like in hand jordan fives are very comfortable let me know what you guys think about these based on the outsole or based on the pictures that we're seeing and of course like i said it will have that translucent outsole which i think gives an extra touch to the jordan 5 but that's just my opinion so it looks like jordan brand is adding the jordan 1 to the craft series 
with this Air Jordan 1 High OG Craft C Glass dropping during the spring for a retail price of $180. Now at first glance, the C Glass colorway definitely reminds me of the C Foam colorway, which grew on me later on, so I can only imagine what these will look like in hand. Based on the mock-ups, these come in Sea Glass, Pale Ivory, and Coconut Milk as the color scheme. Based on these mock-ups, these are set to have a Pale Ivory base, collar, tongues, laces and wing logo then you'll have the sea glass placed on the overlays eye stays and swoosh logos coconut milk midsole with the rubber outsole for the age look feature let me know what you guys think about that based on the mock-ups is this a shoe that you guys are looking forward to we have some very unique colorways pretty much all earthy tones it looks like for the spring with this women's exclusive air jordan 2 sale retailing for 175 bucks these come in sale coconut milk and black as the color scheme it is expensive to have a sale based upper with coconut milk contracting accents throughout the shoe it's said to have black on the wings tongue branding and a sale midsole over the rubber outsole let me know what you guys think about this air jordan 2 another woman's exclusive sneaker dropping in the spring will retail for 180 bucks is the air jordan 14 low women's mineral teal now i'm very interested to see what this looks like in person because of the mock-ups they look very crazy mineral teal metallic silver and black is the color scheme what makes this interesting is the fact that it's going to have a mineral till upper with black nubuck on the toe box eye stays tongue laces carbon fiber midfoot shank plate that's going to be crazy to see i hope the materials is on point i truly feel like this is a shoe that you cannot make your mind up until you see it in hand but unfortunately it is a woman's exclusive so only the girls have to make that decision let me know what you guys think about these overall in the comments below early in the video we talked about another shoe with this colorway now we have the air jordan 6 yellow arch dropping for a retail price of $200. As you can see by the images, these will come with the Carmine color blocking. You will have white leather on the overlays. You have the yellow suede on the side panels, toe box, lace locks, portions of the heel tab and tongue. I do think this color scheme will look much better in person than the images. Let me know if this is something that you're looking forward to. We have two renditions of what this shoe could look like. And once I get official images, of course I'm gonna share. Next up, we have images of the Air Jordan 13 Yellow Orch also getting that same color color scheme let me know what you guys think about this based on the mock-ups it has the white base with the yellow orange accents as well as that smoke gray on the midsole i'm not really sure if i like this colorway i am a fan of the jordan 13s i definitely would like to see these in person but by the first looks let me know what you guys think about these next up we got an air jordan 3 which is a women's exclusive this is the ivory colorway very reminiscent of the air jordan 4 sale that we talked about earlier these come in ivory gray mist and cream as the color scheme as you can see by the mock-ups these feature an ivory base with the gray mist and cream overlays of course you got the beautiful elephant print with the white midsole and gray rubber outsole one to ten scale rate these if these came out in men's sizes or extended sizes do you see yourself try to grab a pair i do like this color scheme and once we get better images i will share but these are pretty fire next up we have some more images of the air jordan 13 yellow orange dropping for a retail price of 200 bucks this one looks a little different from the first images that we saw let me know what you guys think about this might have some inspiration from the tour yellow air jordan 4 that dropped in 2006 white yellow orange dark blue gray and black is the color scheme no official images but these leak images show that it has a white tumble leather upper with a smooth leather across the toe box i'm a big fan of 13s i'm looking forward to seeing what these look like when we get more detailed images but based on the mock-up let me know what you guys think about this shoe there is a lot to choose from when it comes to the spring of 2024 next up dropping for a retail price of 210 dollars is the air jordan 14 flint gray flint gray stealth and white is the color scheme these are expected to have a great upper with white possibly covering the heels midsole and ferrari emblem around the ankle black branding on the heels and midfoot shank play as well then you have a white midsole let me know if you're a fan of the jordan 14s and do you see yourself trying to pick up this pair next up is a shoe that i don't hear too many people talking about but maybe people might be interested in this the air jordan 17 low lightning retailing for 250 bucks also known as the all-star colorway jordan wore these in the all-star game as a member of the washington wizard in 2002 
too. Let me know what you guys think about this shoe. I did own a pair of 17s back in the day in a different colorway. This one is very unique and different. These come in white, lightning, black, and chrome as a color scheme. These feature a white leather upper with a black dynamic fit inner sleeve for a more responsive fit. Other details include the lightning contrasting accents as well as the signature chrome strip around the heel that a lot of people like and you might see them on, on shoes like the Nike Zoom Generation LeBron shoe. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the Jordan 17 low. Following that shoe, we got another women's exclusive. This is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Metallic Gold, retailing for 180 bucks. White metallic gold and gum light brown makes up the color scheme. As you can see by the mock-up, this features a white leather base with metallic gold accents on the collar, swooshes, wing logo, and Nike Air branding on the tongue labels. You have a white midsole with a gum light brown outsole. Let me know your overall thoughts about these. Next, I want to talk about arguably a sneaker of the year candidate for 2024. These will retail for $210, the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue, originally released as one of the four original colorways of the Air Jordan 4 back in 1989. Unlike the 2012 pair, the 2024 release will have its original return to the OG form, which I know a lot of people are excited about. These will come with the Nike Air branding on the back, which a lot of people are looking forward to. They feature white, military blue, and neutral gray as the color scheme, having a white leather upper with neutral gray overlays around the toe box. I like the fact that this shoe is coming back. We've been looking forward to this shoe for a lot of time. The military blue contrasting accents on the eye stays, midsoles, heel tabs, and Jumpman logo just sets the shoe apart. One to 10 scale and the easy 10 for me. Let me know if you guys will be picking up this shoe in 2024. Following that, we have the Air Jordan 5 Olive dropping for a retail price of 210 bucks as well this colorway is not too bad of course when we have mock-up images originally released in 2006 the air jordan 5 olive will be returning in 2024 this shoe was a part of jordan brand's lifestyle series which a lot of people did like let me know if you guys are a fan of this color scheme which is army olive solar orange and black these have a olive suede upper with shades of green on the mesh midfoot panel and eye stays. Other details include the bright orange accents on the inner lining, Jumpman logos on the tongue. I like this shoe right here. The color combination is definitely gonna be on point. I just hope the quality is there. Let me know what you guys think about that. And as we talked about earlier in the year, we have the Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagine dropping during March of 2024 for a retail price of 210 bucks. As some of you may know, these originally released in 1989, known as the Black Cement. The Air Jordan 4 Bread has seen five retro releases since its debut, last seen in 2019. Looking forward to these, man. If you wanna see what these could look like potentially, there is a fellow YouTuber named Sneakerhead in the Bay who made a custom shoe out of a cleat. Let me know if you guys think that is dope. I'll put a picture up of it so you guys can see what it looks like and link to the video in the description box below. Let me know what you guys think. So far from what we're seeing, spring 2024 is gonna be bananas. A lot of women's exclusive sneakers in there, but we also get some bangers for the men, including a maybe one or two arguable sneaker of the year candidates. Give me your feedback in the comments below and make sure you guys hit that like button. Before I get out of here, I wanna give a big shout out to Z Sneakerhead, Sneaker File, Sneaker Bar Detroit, Sneaker News, and House of Heat. I find all my images and information from these websites with great information. Let me know what you guys think about that. Check those guys out as well. I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.